morning guys, Jamie here keeping it coy. Um, freezing me tits off, it's uh, half past seven in the morning and I'm off again on a road trip. So I will catch you when we get there. Hey guys, so we've just arrived, probably the longest drive I've done for a long time. Uh, two hours, 45 minutes. It's now five minutes to 10. Let's go find out where we are. Bear with me. Here we are then guys, creeping up to the store. How you doing? You alright? Good. Yeah, how you doing? Good. Yeah, alright. Look guys, <laughs> Seabull's Pond. How are you? You alright? No, I'm good, thanks, yeah. Yeah, nice one. Good. It's cold out there. Yeah. Can you guess where we are yet? I'm pretty sure you've all probably seen this store before. Yeah. Gaz's Koi Pond. How are you doing? Yeah, good. You how are you doing? Yeah, good. Yeah, I've had just got caught on film then, I didn't do no. <laughs> You did, I'm afraid so. Gaz's tank set up, look. Yeah, yeah. Go through, and it's the man himself. The guy we're here to see. Some more fishes down here. Look, we've got some small koi in there. Look. Some shrimp tanks. And then all of his breeding set up over here. Let's see if the man himself is busy. We'll let him finish talking and we'll catch him in the desert while he's talking. Let's go and have a look at the koi. Friday Night Live area. Things are a bit cloudy today. Not going to see an awful lot in there. Uh, for those of you that all follow Jack, aka the Bolden Reefer, you've probably seen all these fishes on his uh, last video he did. Some more little baby fellas in there. Some more little baby fellas in there. Right, I'm going to say hello to everyone and I'll catch you all in a bit. Phil from Telford Koi Pond, he's now got to leave. It's, uh, it's a pleasure. Gaz and Phil. Great place. Right. See you later. See you so as you can see, we're back from uh, the Bolding Reefers, uh, Reefer Aquatics. Um, what I'll do, I'll put some links in the description uh, to him and his shop. If you've uh, not seen his channel, um, he's now got a, a retail outlet. Uh, he's also uh, setting up and starting a koi farm as well. So I'll put some links uh, to him and his channel and his website uh, in the description. And if I can find them, I'll put all the links to everybody that we bumped into uh, down there as well. So Telford Koi Pond, Gazzy's Koi Pond, uh, Seba's Koi Pond. Um, and we did bump into a, a couple who may be starting a channel as well. Um, so if, uh, if they do start a channel and send me the link, I'll try and get that in the video as well. But as you can see, I've been naughty. I did not come home empty-handed. He had some really nice big fish in there, but uh, unfortunately, the ones I had my eye on were already sold uh, prior to even open day. Um, so yeah, couldn't get the, the one I wanted. So I've come home 
with uh, some little tiddlers. So I'm going to get them acclimated in there. It should be hopefully similar. I've kept the car temperature at about 22 degrees. Uh, they came from about 22 to 24 degrees as well. So I'm going to get them in the pond, get them acclimated. And then uh, if it's still light enough, I'll show you them going into the pond. Catch you in a bizzle. So unfortunately, we have lost the light, but I've got my floodlight on. So we can just about see what we're doing. But yeah, they're now uh, up to temperature. That didn't take long at all. They was literally, oh, whoop, my fingers, only a degree off. So temperature in the pond itself should be around 22 degrees. I don't know if you can see that yet. 22.57. Seven, eight, never makes up his mind. And then in the bag, we are 22.545. So, yeah, pretty darn close. So, I've already put a tiny bit of palm water in the bucket. I don't know where my blue bowl is right now. Oh, it's over there. Oh, well. Don't need to measure them there. Three or four inches. Shift that out of the way trip over it not a lot of room here i'm still in one hell of a mess right, i'm just going to put the phone down so i can get these in the bucket back in a second yeah as you can see we're inside now i thought oh, i could see out there ah, the camera wasn't picking these uh, little beauties up too well so uh, let's have a look so we have one i believe to be tancho shower possibly not 100% sure on this one, um, but either way, I liked it. We have some really nice gin ring. Now, normally I'm not a massive fan of gin ring, but as you can see, three of them are gin ring. So we've got the gin ring Kiyotsuri, and he is absolutely lovely. Probably be one of my favourites in the bowl there. Check that bad boy out, Vince. What do you think to that, Kiyotsuri, eh? Very nice, I like that one. We have a Jinrin Shiro or Beko, one of them, not too sure, but very sparkly that one. This light doesn't really do it justice on the camera, but he's shining like a diamond. And the little black tips on the both of his pec fins I think that gives him real character. He's got massive fins and a tail, that one, for his size. So hopefully he'll uh, grow into them and be a big fish. And we've got this lovely Sankey. Looks doits, but it's actually not. He's uh, just really smooth when you get close up. The only thing that I wasn't 100% keen on is the fact that his fins are really not symmetrical. Obviously, as you can see, the fin uh, closest... Or furthest away now um, one is black and orange patterned which is really nice actually but obviously his other one doesn't match it's just got a couple of tiny specks of black in the other one but uh, yeah still really nice I liked it then we have Kohaku which again not a fantastic uh, Kohaku pattern but for the size of this fish and again you can't really make it out in this light but how deep the red is the Benny and all that on this one. Oh, it is blood red. It really is, um, so deep red. So I just thought, well, we'll give it a shot. The spot on his back might get uh, might get bigger as he grows, and then he'll be a okay, uh, a decent two step. But yeah, I just liked how red he was. So I thought, well, give him a try. And then last but no means least, this big gin ring fella. I believe it to be a uh, gin ring shower, possibly. I don't know, Vince will tell me if it's not. But yeah, he's uh, again really nice. Again, not symmetrical uh, pectoral fins, but still a very, very nice fish. So that's the six that I picked up. Cracking fish. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Let me know your favourite. I know what my favourite is, but what's yours?